Hi, welcome Patreons, and in a month, welcome to YouTube. Um, so this month I was looking through my archives because things are really busy for me right now. Hopefully a lot of good things coming in the future. I hope good things are coming in your future too, and that you are doing your best to stay safe in the middle of this panorama. Um, so this is a piece I did in 2020 and it is a wraparound illustration of a scene in The Magician's Nephew. There were a lot of challenges in this piece. I wanted to try this harsh red lighting that's described in the books and to do a wraparound four-point perspective. So four-point perspective is essentially what perspective ends up looking like when you use the panorama um, which is funny because I just described the pandemic as a panorama. So, uh, we are in multiple panoramas, huh? Anyways, in The Magician's Nephew, which is the first chronological book in the Narnia series, Diggory and his friend Polly are bouncing between worlds and they discover this ruined world with this mysterious red light and this hall of kings and tyrants. And there is a bell at the beginning of the hall and the tyrants or the rulers become more mysterious and fearful as it continues to the end ending on the woman who is going to become Queen Jadis or the Frost Queen in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So Diggory uh, can't really keep from temptation and he rings the bell unleashing Jadis and she will cause future prob problems for Narnia. So I really wanted to do more of a digital process, but I, so I still did physical line art to start because I wanted to have confident lines in my multi-perspective, but then I removed a bunch of the physical texture. I edited Queen Jadis. I didn't like how I originally sketched her. Now that I had scaled up the resolution in this digital world, I had to move Polly around and change her skirt so it would be more 1900s and less 1940s. My original sketch for her, she just felt way more 1940s. Um, so you, I changed the skirt. This took like a really long time and a lot of the time I was thinking like would this be better if I had done more of it traditionally? But in the end I'm still proud of this piece. This piece is in my official website portfolio. And uh, I love this technique of the four-point perspective. And if you want to try it out, I truly recommend um, just observing what is in the panorama on your phone. Yeah, so I blocked in that red light. So blue kind of had to be my opposite for it, this blue-green tone. And it makes a really dark scene. So I really struggled with the contrast afforded by the red light. Um, red is typically our darkest color of light, especially working in a uh, subtractive color system. If you ever want a challenge, uh, red-green is a uh, very difficult contrast. We had a painting exercise my freshman year where we had to choose contrasting colors to do portraits out with, and I chose orange and blue because I knew red green would be the most difficult. So here's what the finished piece looked like. I did multiple versions of the lettering, uh, trying to see what it would look like as a cover. And uh, if anyone out here watching this is in the kid lit or book industry, call me. Everyone else have a great day and see you next time. Oh, and follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I am Alexi Does Art Everywhere. And if you want to support me more, you can become one of my patrons.